In this clip, Martin Fowler speaks on the importance of domain knowledge in the production of high quality software. And one of my, and I have had a lot of frustration when I get a sense when programmers say, oh, well, I don't really need to know very much about the domain. I'll just do what they told me to program. I think that's a great shame. I think it's important that programmers need to understand the domains that they're working in and try and study them and use similar techniques that analysts use. Um, analysts determine um, these intents by looking at needs. Um, they do studies, they do interviews. Programmers should do some of that as well. Maybe not spend as much time, but certainly spend some time. It was really sad to me listening to a programmer who was doing some really interesting stuff in gene sequence manipulation. And he was frustrated because other senior, very technical developers came onto the project and they didn't want to learn that much about gene sequencing. I mean, he got textbooks, he watched videos about gene sequencing. He really wanted to understand a lot about the domain. And he was frustrated that many of his colleagues, they just wanted to be told what to do. And I think that's an important thing that we need to shift, is to do that. When a programmer lacks domain knowledge, something concerning happens. Both the client and the developer can walk away from a meeting, believing they've agreed on what needs to be done, while in reality holding very different mental models of the problem. The developer understands the technology and its constraints, and the client knows the real-world requirements. This hidden misalignment may not surface until deployment, by which pointing it costs far more than money. It can cost lives. A stark example is the 1992 London Ambulance Service CAD project, which collapsed within days of launch, delaying emergency responses and reportedly contributing to patient deaths. Postmortems revealed that the software didn't reflect actual dispatcher workflows, it failed under realistic emergency loads, and lacked workable backup procedures. The root cause wasn't just coding errors, it was a failure to understand the domain. The engineers hadn't spent enough time learning how emergency dispatch operates in practice, producing a system that looks fine on paper, but failed where it mattered most, in the real world. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.